Hey guys, Zombie Greg here for the wrap. Still hanging out at the Walking Dead Escape at Petco Park at San Diego Comic Con. And right now I'm joined by Helix star Mark Anime. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Did I get that right? You did. You did. <laughs> yes. You got it right. You've had quite the character arc on this season. I mean, this has been a crazy first season. It's It, it has been. It was, uh, you know, going into the first season, we didn't really know what we were going to come across as far as scripts and, 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 and storyline and development and the arcs overall. Um, so I had to deal with a lot of uh, interesting things that popped up as we filmed. Yeah, and your character, he's pretty shifty. He's very shifty. He uh, He's... He's the guy that you don't really know why he's there at first, and you're not sure if he's the good guy, the bad guy, what his whole plan is. And I mean, everybody on the show has a secondary agenda. Um, every single person is hiding a secret of sorts, so um, his kind of unfolds pretty quickly within the first couple of episodes, and then it goes on to a little bit of mayhem. Yeah, and uh, but he had a little bit of redemption towards the end of first season there. He when, did, he yeah. did. He. Um, I think for the character, it was it was just the, the case of enough's enough, and, and, and there's only so much you can do when you've figured out what the actual plan was. These people that were paying him to acquire this virus, when he sort of figured out what this is all about, and that it wasn't just, uh, that it just became not simply a money play for him and, and, and power to go up the ranks, he realized that it was, that it was bad, that it was something that um, he didn't want to be a part of. Yeah, and, you know, if you haven't seen Helix, that you, you got to check it out. It's a really cool. It reminds me of the thing, but it just gets more complicated, and there's so much going on. Yeah. And and obviously it just escalates the entire first season, and the finale was nuts. Yeah. Uh, was you know, very very. Everything blew up literally, uh, and so now going into season two, is it gonna be? It's gonna be a new, new. New location? Definitely. I definitely. hear France has a possibility? Um, well, you see a bit of Paris at the end of, uh, of season one, uh, episode 13. Uh, there's there's going to be some 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 interesting changes for season two. I just read the script, the script for the network uh, draft of, of episode one, season two, and I can't say anything, obviously, but it's... Oh, come on. Yes, you can. Okay, yes, you can. You can totally say What it. I can say is that it's going to be great. Okay. Um, it's a complete departure from what happened in season one. Um, all sorts of new stuff happening. All sorts of really creepy stuff happens. And where do you where do you kind of want to see your character go on the show? Um, I think I want to see him continue on on the path that he's he was set on at the end of season one, and it's and and pulling him out of just doing for himself and because he's all about the self-preservation in the first half of season one mm -hmm. and I think I want to see him uh, go forward from that and maybe start helping out and, and being a bit of a part of part of the part of the the team okay yeah cool. as a sci-fi fan or as a sci-fi employee mm -hmm. uh, are you excited for Sharknado too you know <laughs> what one? I haven't even seen the first one yet I haven't had the chance to see the first one yet but all of a sudden all this ginormous buzz blows up about the first one and the second one everyone's freaking out about and they're and they're all heavily anticipating it, it so. it's crazy because helix is they're on two opposite ends of the spectrum but i guess it, you know helix is a, this really well produced really well it's a it's, a it's a it's a, a serious genre there's a yeah. bit of comedy in it like here and there peppered but it's it's a serious thriller and then we've got Sharknado that takes it to a whole different level. And I mean, there's there's fun in it for everybody. Yeah, they're they're both great in their own right. Oh man. Oh god. That looks scary. Something, something's about to happen. Man, this is craziness. Well, Mark, thanks so much for coming by, man. Thank you. And good luck with the show. Thank Sorry you very season. much. I appreciate it. Looking right. forward to it.